Hi Pisces, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Bottom of the deck is Lanyap, so that's good energy. Some form of gift is coming in towards you guys this week. You may be receiving some form of gift here. You may have a gift that you need to share with others here with this speak your truth energy. The speak your truth energy here, number 22 could resonate for you or the number 10 with Lanyap. Okay, that's also um, a number of completion. It's a number of success. Okay, now speaking your truth is all about speaking your emotions, right? This energy is about saying what's on your heart, saying what's on your mind, defending yourself, speaking up for yourself, or maybe this is you realizing some form of clarity or getting some form of clarity and speaking your truth here. This also too could be the energy of someone around you who may want to have a conversation with you. And this could be you finally saying, you know what, I'm, you know, this could just be a simple conversation that brings you clarity but let's read and see what this is energy is about okay it says speak your truth being aware of your feelings is one thing but learning how to express how you feel in a calm and balanced manner can sometimes be a challenge it is important to understand that speaking your truth does not mean that it will under that it will be understood or accepted by others and it doesn't need to be the only thing that matters is that you are able to give your feelings a voice and acknowledge how you truly feel the more you are able to acknowledge and identify how you genuinely feel the stronger the relationship you will have with yourself that will become it is not about being right or wrong it's simply about knowing and practicing what is meant what is what it means to honor yourself through verbal communication and now is a time to speak your truth freely so i i have a saying that i always say collective and it is there's no right or wrong there's only clarity right so there's only clarity so you could be getting or receiving clarity about something and then this is time for you spirit is saying to speak your truth and once you speak your truth and you see how this person reacts or responds to that then you have your clarity right meaning like now you know how to, how, you know, how to deal with the situation or the person and what decision that you need to make that's best for you. So let's see what else do we have for you guys. What else is coming in for the collective for the week ahead, please? Thank you. Look at this, making magic. This is beautiful because the making magic energy actually is in alignment with the Lanyap energy, okay? Whether you know it or not, the Lanyap is like a receiving some form of a precious gift from the divine okay and i feel like this is after you guys are either a have already stepped back from a situation that's giving eight of cups energy you walking away from what no longer serves you or something that you're unhappy with to walk towards what you're truly happy with and be in alignment with what it is that you really want or be in more alignment with something that is in more alignment with you right and it says whatever you touch turns to gold and you manifest like the powerhouse you truly are so some of you all may not be aware that all it takes for you to manifest whatever it is that you want here is just you speaking it into existence you are just that powerful and gifted of a human being or earth angel okay what however you identify yourself as you have the power to co-create and speak something into existence here so that could be your magic that you need to step into or your power that you need to step into and be more confident about right so whatever it is that you're wanting whether it's a new car, it's a new house, make, whether it could even be as simple as peace collective, right? You know, new job, new relationship, new love. You have the power to manifest this. You are a co-creator, okay? Just speak that into existence. Butterflies here show our, our, there are butterflies in this card here and also butterflies in this making magic. So that tells me you guys are going through from some form of transformation and expansion and growth right now which gives me again more death energy right which is a card of ending things new beginnings you, you successfully completed some form of karmic cycle you walked away from something you took a step back from something that wasn't working for you and that's also really powerful energy to help you manifest in something else because it creates room for you to have what you truly desire that's what's in in true alignment with you and where you are right you have to make and create space for that so make sure you guys are speaking positively into your life and you're speaking positive things into existence that you want, not negative things. 
All right, we have 10, 10. Yeah, another 10, you guys. I'm telling you, endings and new things. Endings. Endings and new beginnings. It says, keep your thoughts positive and be patient as everything is working out for your highest good. Trust that your angels are working behind the scenes to help you. I am patient. I was literally just saying, keep your thoughts, keep your thoughts positive and this pops out, right? So thank you, spirit. I appreciate that. Uh, and this kind of is funny to me because... I, you know, I don't know if you all, like, if you're familiar with co-creating and manifesting, right? I've been manifesting some things and I've been seeing those things, but it just don't, some of them are like not quite right or not quite right yet, right? They're not ready. They're not done. They're not done cooking or they're not done being ready. It's like, you know, how you, maybe you're making soup, right? And the soup is almost ready, but you're like, oh, that needs a pinch of salt. You know, it's not ready yet. So you guys, this is giving me the energy of like, don't give in, don't give up, speak your truth, continue to speak it to existence, whatever it is that you are wanting this week or, you know, or desiring. All right. It's just not ready yet. So have patience. Just continue to hang in there. All right. What do we have for the collective here for the week ahead? What else is it that they need to be aware of? Holy Spirit. Yeah, I feel like with this energy activation, this is definitely energy of like you connecting through the divine, speaking your truth, realizing your power through some of you all that power could be through prayer for some of you all that power could be through through connecting with the divine on however you connect with it with the divine or the person or whoever it is that you believe in. Or, you know, it, it could just be simple as like you meditating, right? Or writing or journaling. Now we have evaluation. Feed out what does not serve you. Reevaluate the situation. I honestly feel like this is an energy where you, you guys are already here. I definitely feel like I'm talking to the collective who's already walked away from something. They're in some form of rebirth energy, some form of transformation right now. I do. So continue to do that. All right. Make sure you're speaking your truth about what it is that you want. Be clear when you're speaking to other people, being honest with yourself and other people, putting in the work. Look at that. Achieving goals that help build uh, the success for your path. Yeah, that's exactly what this energy is here. You've been putting in the work, I feel like, you guys, or just continue to do that. Whatever it is that you're manifesting is coming into existence. The work that spirit is talking about putting in here is continuing to think positive, right? And, and continuing to trust and believe that everything is working out. Trust that things are, and your angels are working in the background, even when it feels like, and look at what's on the bottom of this deck, patience. Manifestations are on the way. You see what I'm saying? All you have to do is trust and believe that manifestations are coming in for you. Look at what's on the bottom of that. Abundance. Okay, so this could be an abundance of new money coming your way. This could be love. If you've been asking for love, this could be rewards or recognition, whatever it is you've been putting in the hard work at doing. And again, that hard work has been speaking your truth, walking away from certain places, people and things, you know, and you're receiving whatever this land yap is here because you've taken a step back from things that were, didn't work for you in the past. Right. Step back. Then we have the patience energy here again. So spirit is saying, I love this. Have the patience. Find some balance here and then stay in that sweet spot once you find the balance that works best for you. So just have patience. This abundance or this thing that you want so, so much so is coming in for you. Let's get a um, financial abundance card for you and see what message spirit has for you there. What else do we have for the collective here, please? For the week ahead. Okay, we got two. Gratitude list. So it's time for you guys to maybe make a gratitude list here. It says counting your blessings and feeling gratitude. This is also what you, the work that you need to do to, to manifest here. Okay. Right. So speaking the things you're grateful for could be something here. That's very important for you to do if you're manifesting something or maybe writing a list about the things that you're already grateful for. Um, it says counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you to be centered in your 
your heart. Instead of fixated on your worries right now, right? Step outside of those thoughts and be patient and be positive. It says, instead of being fixated on your worries in your mind, what and who are you grateful for right now? Keep focus upon gratitude and your, and your discoveries I'm sorry, and you will discover the amazing generosity of the universe. Okay, so focus on the good, not the bad. I know that could be a little difficult when you're like, I've been doing that. You know, I get it. Look at that abundance mindset. So this is telling me you guys continue to just almost think you already have what you have, right? And, or look at it in a way like Spirit is saying here, just write a grateful list or speak, speak the things that you already have. And then that is like, okay, collective is already grateful for the things that they have let's send them more because really you you're attracting this more of that into your energy so if you're thinking negative then you're going to attract more of that negative if you're thinking positive then you're going to attract more of that positive right if you think of abundance as something that happens in the future then it's always going to be something one day away from you right it says see feel think and speak of abundance as if it's something that you already have in the present moment and that is what you will experience right so if you guys are looking for love or you're looking for financial abundance then already act as if that's already in existence or find small things in your life that exist already that are abundant right find the positive things that you can say you know what i'm so grateful that i have the money to pay i don't know my bills this month or i'm so grateful that i have the money to pay x y and z or i'm so grateful i have the opportunity to do x y and z right so let's get your advice here and see what else your spirit guides have for you what other advice do you have for the collective for the week ahead Five of Swords. Okay. Don't fight with it. Don't fight whatever this is. Okay. There's some form of stability coming in for you. Okay. That you're seeking in your life. Okay. Whether this is financial stability, stability in your home, stability in your own mind to be at peace. But yeah, the hermit, okay, yeah, and the knight of wands on the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is regarding your mo your motivation and your your passions here. I feel like you guys have been seeking some form of answers, some form of wisdom here, or you need to be using that wisdom. But the but the point is here, spirit is saying whatever the answers are that you're looking for come from within with this hermit energy. Okay, it's like a little bit of a power struggle. So there's no need for you to struggle with doing this okay this is co-creating is easy don't don't fight it okay i think it's just really in, in the collective being impatient and i i totally get that but there's something st stable in your life that you already have that's already in existence and that is what you need to focus yourself on whether it's your home or your relationships with your friends or your family whatever it is it, this is saying the advice is saying, look within collective, right? Um, make sure you're not creating a power struggle between your mind and what's happening on the outside when you're co-creating. OK, so just just make sure you're not you're not, uh, you know, fighting this manifestation by thinking negatively. OK, remember, think positively. You're, I feel like you, some of you all might be feeling less passionate or less driven or less motivated about what's going on. And I, it could be overthinking energy, too. So just just maybe write a list even of things that you're very passionate about and you're very motivated about and just focus on those things that could also help you do. OK, now let's get you some. Uh oh, what is this doing in here? Okay, let's get you some cards and see what you can expect for the week ahead. So show me here what the collective can expect for the week ahead. Who or what is coming towards my collective in a week ahead, please? Some good news is coming your way. That's great. Okay. You are going to receive some good news that will make you very happy. Answer the phone. When the time comes, it will change your life for the better. So surrounding some energy, there's something in here that you've been putting in the work. Make sure you're thinking positive. 
some good news is coming towards you that you, yep, and there goes that energy of patience. This whole reading is surrounding you having the patience for something that you've been working hard at. It's coming to you. So spirit is just saying, hey, tapping you on the shoulder. Everything's going to be fine. You've been putting in the work. Now you're just waiting to reap the benefits. So spirit says, keep believing that your season is coming. The good you've put into this in your life will manifest and there's no need for you to rush it. Okay. You just need to focus on the positive things and being gratitude right now for what you have in this moment transition look at this i love this and remember this is this is tying back to these butterflies and this transformation energy okay it says you're undergoing a significant life change or entering into a time of transition growth will will only be possible by suspending your desire to fill the uncomfortable void that you feel okay so I feel like just take it easy on yourself. Take it, take it easy on yourself. This is coming. Have patience. Right now you're going through a lot of growth, a lot of changes, but it's all for the greater good of like expansion and growth in your own life. So just have a little bit more patience because like, that seems to be a reoccurring theme here. You've got some stability coming in here with this four of wands. Then we have this I am stable energy here. It says you bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock and you are the hard work and perseverance. <laughs> make you a dependable, you make a dependable friend. Look at that. Um, partner and colleague, I am stable. Look at that. So I think this is really all about you just being patient. And I hate to hear that. I don't, I do. You know, so just find something else to focus on in the meantime, you guys. But I love you. That's your message for this week. I hope you have an amazing week ahead. Hit the like button for me if you're new here. If you if you like the vibe here, join the tribe, join the channel and subscribe to the channel. Join us on Patreon where we also have um, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine readings every month. And we do every Zodiac sign gets a twin flame reading every month. OK, and you have access to watch all of those readings. Otherwise, I'm um, just going to tell you guys. Guys, stay safe and trust your intuition. Bye.